Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm a rebel. Wouldn't you like to be a rebel too? Wouldn't you like to be a, a rebel, rebel too? And be a rebel. We are going to be covering fight we is in against Scott the empire. I. Be a rebel. Fight against the empire. Wow. Turn this into like cop rock. <laughs> <laughs> that old show that someone yeah, thought so would work. Lasted like four episodes. Yeah, like three. Like, what are they doing? They're singing? Huh? We're going to be doing our top Scotch, no American. Top five Scot no, Scotches. It's not just top Scotch, five Scotch. It's, it's uh, world whiskeys. World whiskeys, our Saturday show. Yes. On Saturdays, we do our, our, it started off originally as Scotch, and then it turned into whiskeys of the world, other than Canada and America and like Mexico. Yeah. And then Wednesday, we our do America's, America's Whiskey Wednesday. Which we did a top five. Right. There. We've done a top so, five on that. So now let me point out, though, Scotch Bart has, we, ha we are consuming, and I can smell Bart's choice of Scotch. Let's just say he can smell my number one. From a ways away. <laughs> ah, he can smell my number one. Guess we'll have to wait one. to see what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. So... My dog's moving around. No. Karina's moving around. So you yeah, see her. Come here. Hi. Come Hi. There she is. There we you go. Seen Karina for a now, while. we're also on the new set. However, I don't have blinds yet. We were having a huge glare problem. Yes, so excuse okay. the Get cardboard in. that I put in the windows. I know it's low rent. Yeah. But you didn't want to see the glare. And we had the to beard. control the glare. So. Yeah. Now, you, you kicked off. Last round, do you want me to kick off? Um, or do you let's say that real quick, we didn't cover These are scotches that we had last year. Right, in 2015. So this, this isn't an all-encompassing. Yes, it's not an Every exhaustive Every scotch available list. to yes. the world. God knows they don't send us, nor do we even get close to trying everything. And I don't think you could. Some but, people could. I don't think we could. Uh, so these are... Our individual Bart's got his top five scotches that he's picked from the ones we've reviewed this year, and I've Bingo. got my top five. Are they the same? I guarantee they're not the I same. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Because uh, I am a huge fan of the Smokies. Mm. And you, not that you don't like them, but you're not a huge fan. Hmm. All right. Do you want to kick off the list, or do you want me to oh, start? You just said you was going to, since I went uh, first I was. with the last you one. You went first with the last one. Mine cycled off. Number five to me for me on this list was a surprise, a complete and utter surprise. I was in our friendly neighborhood liquor store and I saw an Indian whiskey, Amrut. Mm. To be specific, Amrut Fusion. Fusion, which means nectar. It means nectar. Yeah, it no. doesn't mean... Uh... <laughs> No, it does mean nectar. You said it means passion, and then we were, you were corrected. You just made yes, some, Herman. You just made some stuff up when we were filming. Which you no, do Herman often. had mentioned it, and I'd read it, and then like a week or two went by, and we're on camera, and I just kind of vapor locked, and Herman had said that that uh, en route means nectar, nectar, which is like the nectar of the gods, or uh, kind of like the whole idea of water of the gods. And for some reason, I said Amrut means passion. passion. <laughs> and he came on and like loud yelling, typing. No, I did not say All passion. Caps. Yeah, uh, yelling, it's nectar, typing. nectar, yeah, it's nectar. So, and Herman also com commented on our dress, which is why I'm wearing a sport coat today. Uh, he's Canadian, so there you go. But Amrut that Fusion. You, there's a couple things that happened with En Route. First, I think it was one of the first, if not the first, whiskeys we did for our Saturday show that wasn't pure scotch. That wasn't from Scotland, wasn't it? I'm not sure. If, I'm not if sure it wasn't, one, it if was close. Done. And we, we got made... a lot of comments about way to branch out, way to try different things. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I think I spent, what, $70, $80 on it. You commented like, wow, a year ago before we started this show, did you think without ever tasting it, you would drop 80 bucks 
on an on Indian an whiskey. Indian whiskey. Nothing against India, but they just weren't known for and their we, and, single yeah, malt. And we hadn't had it before, so we didn't know yeah. what to expect. It's not like I had it at a tasting. I hadn't seen anybody review it. I thought, you know what? I want to try it. We need to try something. Well, in fact, is yeah, I was with you when you bought it. We went to my house. Yes. And we cracked it open, and even I was surprised by it. Extremely pleasantly surprised. Amrut Fusion. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Broaden your horizons. Now that it did not make my list, I did consider it. Gotcha. Um, it's my very number good. five. I only need to look. I remember my number five. Amrut Fusion. Mm. My number five. Tomatin, eighteen year. Mm -hmm. uh, value wise and taste wise. Mm. And I was just looking and talking to. I was in the liquor store the other day, and the guy was looking for a scotch, and we were talking, and and I'd point pointed out the Tomatin eighteen to him. And a few other 18 years, and the Tomatin at our liquor store in our area is $69.99. Yeah, great. I need five of them. And these other 18 year scotches were coming in $119, $129, yeah. $139. Right. And it's been in sherry casks. It is full of flavor. It's delicious. It's phenomenal. Uh, very surprising. You won't find a better 18 year scotch for the money. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just, period, just an 18 year scotch. It's delicious. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this year, though, we also we take we tested several from the Tomatin range, but the eighteen probably my favorite. Yeah, I mean, in uh, twenty sixteen, right over our shoulder here, you got the I always say it wrong the uh, Kubakan Kuboken Kuboken. Kuba what do you say, Kubakan? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I made it I sound like it's from Marco Polo, Kubakan. That's like chupacabra. Yeah, chupacabra. Goat suck. We got the chupacabra scotch. Bingo. I'm surprised you didn't say that because you just say wrong stuff all the time. We got the chupacabra from the pommel. The pommel. Now, I'm not saying too much on this because my number four, Tomatin 18. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I could get the sherry on the nose as soon as we popped the cork. I was like, whoa, this is sherry. You know, and we hadn't read anything on it. Uh, everything you said, I agree with 100%. The flavor is phenomenal. The value is unbelievable. I mean, I'm like, wow. So you talk about a fair deal. If you guys haven't tried to matten, I mean, you can start with the 12 and you're going to get a real nice malted flavor. You can go up to the 14, which I love that almost made this list, which is mm -hmm. port wine cast. Mm -hmm. Then, but jump on up. If you like sherry, get the 18. You will not be upset. You will be pleasantly surprised. Enough said. That's my number four. Surprising. It's good. Yeah. Close. Yep. My number four is back behind us. And I, I hate to differentiate, but Yamazaki. You took the Amrut from India. I take the Yamazaki from Japan. The 18? And really, well, I'm really, I'm referring to the 12. It's mm. one I've gotten. I've had several times. The 18 was delicious. Mm. Now, the thing is with the 18, it's, it's fairly rare and expensive. I've never seen it on the shelf. That one was, you got from Texas. Yeah. Your mom found it in a liquor store down mm -hmm. there. Thank you, mom. Um, and it has some definite sherry notes to it. Huge. Side by side, I'm, the, it was better. But availability wise and what you can go to the store and find, just the Yamazaki twelve. Hmm. But I mean either one. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, side by side. So, if if you offered me either one, I'd take the eighteen definitely. Yeah, so definitely. just well and, sharing. And that's one of those uh, I'm talking about the world whiskeys and when we branched out to the, the Indian whiskeys. And actually, well the Yamazaki started because in twenty 13, it won Jim Murray's World Whiskey of the Year, the Yamazaki Sherry Cast. Right. It was never sold in the States, however. Right. That is true. So, um, the first bottle that I found, and, and I hadn't seen any Yamazaki locally ever. And then all of a sudden, I was in the liquor store one day, and right there on the shelf was the Yamazaki 12. So right. So I picked it up. Because we'd had it a, a Hakushu, but we've never uh -huh. had the blended Hibiki. Have we? We have not had Hibiki. Right. I almost grabbed and, it and then the price jumped and we yes. were just doing other things. Yeah. Now there's the Hibiki 12, but it's been replaced by the NAS um, one. And I can't remember what it's called. And I've seen both hmm. actually locally. Hmm. But so, uh, it's good. And but, if, if you see either one, give them a shot. The, yeah. The Japanese whiskeys. Um, and, and we've even had some comments or I've seen comments about people that think scotch. I mean, people that don't even drink Irish whiskeys 
and they're not branching out to Japanese whiskeys or Indian whiskeys. They think really? Scotch is it. Huh. And I'm I mean, there's other great whiskeys out there to try. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, we're all about that. Yeah. That's the journey we're on. We're on a journey. We're on a quest. We're on a quest to try all these different whiskeys. And it's a beautiful and awesome quest. Mm. It is. We're on a quest. Speaking of that, um, number three. Boy, Hardy, boy, Hardy, this could be higher. The Port Charlotte Scottish Barley. I like it a little bit more than the uh, Isla Barley. Isla Barley is a little bit more expensive. It's in the white can, whereas the, the Port Charlotte Scottish Barley is in more of the gray can. Um, they're very close, uh, but I did have them head to head. And the uh, it's going to be heavily smoky. It's heavily peated. Delicious. And to me, the Scottish barley is a little bit more rounded over the, the actual Isla barley. I love the fact that the, the farmer's growing the barley right on the They're the doing island. it all themselves. Right, it's all right there. There's like six different farmers that they'll source from an, an Isla. Now, we've only reviewed one, though. Was that the Scottish barley? Yes, yeah. I, uh, we've got the Isla barley to uh, do. No, no I took it. To buy another one. I took it to the Scotch tasting at BGG and it got destroyed. <laughs> I've every the the other three the other two times I ran a tasting there I always <clears> brought back something especially a peated because most people would be like, "Whoa, oh, yeah. that thing got killed." I was uh, like, "Whoa!" So okay. now I'm going to hazard a guess what you're going to see with Bart's top five list mm. or peated whiskeys. Kind I mean, of. I'll hazard a guess you might see a sherry tainted list with mine. Yes, I would agree with that. Although I got a surprise for you in there as well. But that is my number three, the Port Charlotte Peated Whiskey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job, bro, body. Love it, love it, love it. I'm still branching out with my number three. Branch, baby, branch. Red Breast, 12 year. Mm. Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. You would not believe it's a 12 year whiskey when you have it. It, it, it tastes more like a 15 year. It really it was does. Like, it was like number six. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I heard you discussing and talking about your list and where, and you had it in there and it got bumped out. Yeah, it kept just slightly getting pushed. It got pushed. And actually, I went to the liquor store the other night mm -hmm. and I was kind of in the mood for for some sherry stuff. And I was, I was debating mm -hmm. back and forth and I went with another bottle. I didn't even consider the Red Breast. And then it was a day or two later and I was like, man, the Red Breast. I should have yeah. got the Red Breast. Um, it's just got a, just a hint of sherry, I think, to it. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it's delicious. It's, <coughs> but, it's high quality. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is, what made me even buy that first bottle of Red Breast, you know this, why? I don't Mark. remember. Mark Gillespie's show. Oh, right. Those great commercials that yeah, run on there where the guys like, yeah, and they're popping the cork like, boom. Yeah. Red Breast. Red Breast. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I uh, I was about ready to try an Irish accent. You don't want to hear it, but it's just phenomenal. You yeah. know, they got like some old guy that's like 80 years old. Like they said it was liquid gold. <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta have it. It soaked up so much of the flavor from the wood. I mean, it's just yes. it really is full on the palate. It's uh, it's, it's a great. It's ex it's a little expensive for a 12 year. Yes, yeah, and for I know. It, even here, it's it's gone up at 70 to 80 dollars. Yes, I know. I wish it was a so, little bit less because man, I'd buy more. In fact, is when you bought it, I had seen it and I knew Gillespie. You know, it was a sponsor on his on Whiskey Cast, mm -hmm. and I still I couldn't bring myself to spend that much for a 12 yeah, year. So I had to like, pull it for a 12 year tie. Like I, I kept know. talking about you know they said be careful with this one, laddie. Liquid gold or something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm buying that. I gotta have some of the liquid gold. Great commercial marketing. That made me want to go out and try it, and I was not disappointed. Definitely my short list yeah. on here. Now I will tell you that too. A lot of people pre, I would say, preach buying the Red Breast 15 year because there's like a twenty dollar difference, huh. and even the 15 year is so much better than the 12 year. Really? I don't know because I haven't had it. Dang, now we got to so do it. a lot of people will preach getting the 15 year with 12 year just for the, the money difference. Hmm. And I know I've seen locally the 21 year Red Breast, but it's in the 300 dollar range, and I would love to try it, but I haven't. Wow, that's your number three. Wow, my number two. We're staying in the Brook Lottie clan. Mm. All right, we're staying in the Brook Lottie, but this one's going to mm -hmm. surprise mm -hmm. you a little bit. No? You know nope, what I know is. which one it right. is. Starts with the O. 
No. No, oh. it doesn't actually. Yeah, I'm going to twist you. This is the Black Arts 4.1. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, 23-year-old. It's smooth and it's kind of sherried a little bit. Not really, though. It's not even sherried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I well, here's what happened. The, the year of 2014 in November, right before Thanksgiving, I'm at the Board Game Geek Convention. Yes, I love board games. I'm fanatic about them. I got a ton of them. All right. I'm at this convention and I run a tasting there and some of the publishers and different industry people know I do this, but a guy that builds these handmade gaming tables that are crazy expensive, he found out and he said, and I was told to go find him. I find him. He tells me, come here. Does this story have a It has a, story? yeah, yeah. And we, I go behind his booth he pulls out this black bottle with a pentagram on it. And I'm like, what the heck is that? I've never seen now it. Now you've got my attention. Yes. And he said, this is Brook Lottie. I knew what Brook Lottie was. He says, this is their black arts. Have you ever had it? He had the 3.1. I said, I have not had it. He goes, you're going to love this. And whiskey's meant to be shared. And I'm like, ah, uh, you are kin. <laughs> we are related, brother. All right. He said, I apologize. I don't have a glass for you, but you got to try this. And he poured it into a little, a little bit into a paper cup. Mm. I know. That was a little hard. Hey, if you got nothing else, he, you got to He gave do. me a nod. He actually was wearing a tan. He gave me a nod because I covered it with my hand, opened up a little bit, and I nosed it. It was, the, it was this impromptu, immediate deal so I could capture the nose on this thing with the paper, right? And he was like, wow, this guy's had some scotch before. So we were kinsmen right from the get-go, all right? I, I smell it. It smells great. I taste it. It's phenomenal. Um... He even comes to my tasting. I have a little bit more. He's sharing this bottle. I get online. It's about a $300 bottle. When I get home, I buy it. I couldn't get 3.1. I got 4.1. I try it. You try it. I overhyped it for you. Yeah, you did. But yeah. I, I tried not to listen to yeah, it. I went yeah, I mean, I'm telling you spoilers and everything. And, and then you tried it. And it is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's what really made me a Brook Lottie fan. Mm -hmm. And then now, we and this this isn't smoky at all. No, nothing. No, none. There's none. no peated barley. There's nothing peated. Well, and what happens is I think it's Jim McEwen from mm -hmm. Brickwadi. That's exactly right. The master distiller. He mm -hmm. has he formulates this black arts, and he tells nobody. Well, may, maybe he tells some people. I don't know. N nobody uh, in advertising or in the whiskey industry knows what he puts. I'm in glad this. I tasted it because I'm anti-marketing on that. Mm. You tell me, ooh, it's a secret. Oh, we've right. got a pentagram on it. Ah, that's what it is. It's a secret, and ah, that's what some people don't like about right, it. They want right. to know what makes it up. Right. But I had tasted it out of a paper cup the first time I had it and I was blown away. Now later on I did have a nice Glen Karen when we did the tasting and I had a little bit more but I was like wow and I gotta admit you know I mean we're on a budget here that was I think the first $300 bottle oh, yeah. I ever purchased yeah. and uh, and I was like I'm doing it I'm just doing it mm -hmm. I even shared a little bit with my wife so I think do you have any of it left or is it all gone? No I have a lot left I'm almost I, it it's, it's upstairs that one stays upstairs it needs to come down here. It, it really does. It it's got to be down here. Um, it's tucked away, and I kind of forget about it, so I don't hit it all the time. Hmm. That's why I, I have to hide bottles for myself. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, eh, a little Brook Lottie, a little Black Arts. But, all right, that's my number two, the Black Arts 4.1. Although I had the 312, but, uh, you know, I'd have to do them head-to-head -to, -head to see if they're different. But the yeah. 4.1 is phenomenal. Hmm. Matter of fact, uh, uh, Bonacore, who owns a, a Stronghold Games, picked up a bottle for this last tasting we had. And uh, boy, did that thing go quick. Mm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Did you forget? You forgot your number one? Nope, number I'm just, I got to make this last a little bit longer because yeah, my number two is Brook Lottie Black oh, Arts 4.1. Wow. So I don't have anything to talk about. Yes, you do. Your, your points. <laughs> What are your points? I already did. We brought it up. You didn't do them all, surely. You held something <laughs> back. When you got something, you got to hold it back a little bit. You got to hold it a little bit close to the vest. And then you go, like, here's what I think. Surely you got something. What no, I was, uh, I was surprised. And you brought it. You had hyped it up. You would talked about it, how good it was. And I hated to fall into that and come into it 
the tasting when I come over the first night. When yeah, I hyped it. it. I felt almost bad. I'm like, and, dude, I think I'm going to overhype that. I've overhyped this, and you're not going to. And, it I, and I think I had talked myself into being disappointed. Yes. It's not going to be as good as you yeah, had right. said. Yep. Because I think I called you from the convention and said, I've just uh, tasted a yeah, brutal scotch. Mm -hmm. yeah. This scotch is great, but it's your now, type. I think you questioned it first when you said it, though, sherry, and there is definite sherry in it. Yeah. I haven't had it in a while. Yeah. Um, I and they don't say what what's in there, but no. yeah, I believe it is a little bit sherry. It is, from what I remember, though, maybe we ought to go get it and have a little bit more. <laughs> just to refresh my memory after we shoot. Sounds good. But uh, no, just the, the flavor profile that was in there, and I can remember the, it's a 23 year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course it's a blend though, or I say a blend, it's a, it's all, it's a single malt, so it's all from Brook Lottie. If it was, if I was in a liquor store and had the money and it was there, I'm buying it. Mm. Once again, I wish I had Esquire and we had a thriving practice. Yeah. Mm. I will admit that, that is the key. I'm sorry I stole some of your thunder on that one. You thought no, I was no, going to say Octomore, didn't, didn't you? Well, when you said Brook Lottie come in there, and I know you're you're you're. If you remember when I tried the Octomore, I actually that. thought it wasn't as smoky as I expected. Yeah, and I don't think it was either. And uh, somehow I mean, the, the Port Charlotte grabbed me more than the Octomore. Yeah. So yeah, the Octomore is billed as the PD. Most mm -hmm. PD Scotch right. yeah, parts by, per million yeah, and all that stuff, and even right. I didn't think it was as strong as some yeah. others. But now, my number one, which is in this glass, by far, head and shoulders, and strongly entrenched me in the peat head family. Let me guess, it's a Lafroig. It is a Lafroig, and it is a cast oh, strength tenure. Yes. Cast oh strength. my God. I tried this and was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, wow, love this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like a fanatic about it. I'm telling other people. If we somebody... were on the phone. We were on the phone oh. when you sat down and tasted yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, oh, huh. It was a little orgasmic. Yeah. All right. And he's like, you got to try this. Oh, you my God. Like, he's, yeah. like, he he's like, cask, yeah. cask strength yeah. with Roy. Yeah. I was like, this is great. And yeah. he's like, yeah, ashtray. I'm like, no, it's phenomenal. <laughs> But even you warmed up to it a little bit. It, you know, it's okay. It's good. But <laughs> it's beyond good. It's it's phenomenal. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've had a couple of my buddies that say, you know, I like a little bit of the smoky. I'm like, get this. Come over to my house. I'll share it with you if you don't want to try it without tasting it. But if you like smoky, get the 10-year Lafroig cask strength. It's caramelized. It's smoky. It's got that first like a, a, a little punch, but then it softens up on you. It is phenomenal. Get it. The Freud, you're killing me. I love what you're doing. I can smell it. Yeah, and he can smell it from here. He kind of knew. He's like, I know what you've got in that glass. I'm like, that's right. My number one reaches out and touches you. You should have gave me some of the black arts to put in My the number one basically commits a misdemeanor against you just being in the room. Reaches out and touches. <laughs> it's, a, it's an assault. It's right. an assault, baby. Assault it just comes out and says, "Yeah." And some people are like, Ooh, what "Call you the got police, over there? make a report." Boom! They're, if they come, they're going to just confiscate the evidence. Or a robbery. Saying. Oh no, it's delicious. All right, so that's the lead. Now, if you know, if you noticed uh, earlier on, I said Bart's going to trend towards the peaty scotches. I'm going to trend towards the sherry scotches. Yeah. And the only great. reason I don't have my number one in my glass is because we don't have any more of it. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think what it would be. I, I really can't peg it down. We were just talking about it. We, our liquor store has it. However, it's priced pretty high. I know high. exactly. Sorry. And I won't ruin it, but I know exactly what I you wish mean. I could go buy this bottle. Yes. It's your, pretty limited. Your whiskey fabric friend. Yes. Yes. Joanne McKenna sent Boom. us Balvenie. Love you. Ton 1509. It was delicious. Delicious. Yeah. The uh, uh, and similar to the Black Arts, and I may have even said it at the time. The the flavor profile that was in there and the sherry, delicious. Mm. Um, now, Balvini, I they don't give any age statement with it. I don't know how old theirs is. Mm. What you do get with the Ton 1509 is basically a flavor chart. 
um, that shows, and this is a, a special mm -hmm. uh, release that's put out by David Stewart of Balvenie, their master distiller. And he hand selects casks. He goes through the warehouse, use this one, take that one, take that one after he's tasted them, after he's nosed them. Mm -hmm. And they combine all of these. And so then you get a chart basically of a flavor profile from each cask that was used that shows you what the if it was you know oaky if it was citrusy if it was sherry a uh, that's a great job a great job can you imagine that you're gifting that to so. people you just like <laughs> and you gift it you just like you know what i tasted all these that that this that here's a map here you go yeah i will tell you that yeah no, it's higher though. Well, I know at 325 to 350 range per bottle on it. Yeah, I actually saw that at the store, and I went, "Oh!" Uh, and then and and uh, Matt came over and said, "Scott's been looking at that." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "I bet he has." It, it surprised me. They got it. We've never seen that locally. No, we haven't. He um, said, well, didn't you guys try this uh, from a Canadian well, burger? I, yeah, I yeah, and him. I said, yeah, Whiskey Lasky, Whiskey Lassie, Joanne McGinnis, uh, Whiskey Fabric uh, sent us a sample and we reviewed it. And I said, I, why, it was expensive, but I'm, I was thinking, mm, might as well put Bruno's name on it. Mm. And that yep. just showed up. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Delicious. Goodness. Well, this is a heck, no, this is a hell of a list. Hell of a list. Yeah, I can't heck it. There's no heck in this Don't list. Don't shortcut it. No, this is a hell of a list. Um, it's been a hell of a year. This year, let's talk about this. This is like a list where you say, reach in there and get my wallet. Mm. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad mother on it. Wow. You just went it's Pulp like that. Fiction. You just went Pulp Fiction territory. That's how bad this list is. That is. It's a good list. It's a good list. You can't go wrong with these. Now... Now, real quick, 2015 has been a great year for Scotch Test Dummies. I mean, uh, we have probably tripled our subscribers, right? At I think least, uh, at, at least. least. Yeah, it's been a great year. In 2015, we added in an extra show on Wednesdays. We used to just do a show on Saturday. We added in we, America's Whiskey Wednesday. You know, we should have pulled some numbers to say how many, you know, well, we might what, our viewer, what our views have gone up. We might do our, that in the future. Yeah. I can tell you one thing that surprised us was that our leading demographic for viewers are age 25 to 34, I think is how it's broken down on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're pulling in 35% of those. And then, uh, and then we pull in the next group up to age 44, and then the next group is, it says 18 to 24, but let's hope that that's 21 to 24, I mean college age group. Um, I mean, please be of legal age. I can't imagine. Well, you could be 18 to watch them, but there's nothing that says you can Well, you could watch them, but I mean, come on. If, I mean, we are funny looking. <laughs> we got cool t-shirts. All right. So it's been a great year for us, really. I mean, I think we've hit our stride, mm -hmm. right? Um, we've, we've had some unbelievable thanks whiskeys. to you guys. Yeah. Thanks to all the viewers. Your comments are phenomenal. Um... Just having a good time. We've even had viewers gifting us bottles and stuff. I mean, it's been a great year. We encourage it. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's been a great, great year. And uh, several, uh, uh, well, two distilleries we've talked to. So in uh, 2016, we might even have some special viewer things in mind. So we can yep. even connect more with the viewer. Yep. Uh, we got to work on those. Some tech stuff we got to do. So, all right. Anything else? That's it. Great year, great list. Love you guys. Thanks to all the Scotch That's Test right. Dummies out there. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm a rebel. Wouldn't you like to be a rebel too? Wouldn't you like to be a, a rebel, rebel too? And be a rebel. We are going to be covering fight we as in against Scott the empire. Be a rebel. Fight against the empire. Wow.
turning this into like Top Rock. <laughs> <laughs> that old show that someone yes, thought that would work. lasted like four episodes. Yeah, like three. And like, what are they doing? They're singing? Huh? We're going to be doing our top Scotch, no, America. Top five Scotch, no, Scotches. It's not just top Scotch, five Scotch. It's, it's uh, world whiskeys. World whiskeys, our Saturday show. Yes. On Saturdays, we do our, our, it started off originally as Scotch, and then it turned into whiskeys of the world, other than Canada and America and like Mexico. Yeah. And then Wednesday, we our do America's, America's whiskey, whiskey Wednesday. Which we did a top five. Right. Yeah. We've done a top so, five on that. So now Let me point out, though, Scotch Bart has, we, ha we are consuming, and I can smell Bart's choice of Scotch. Let's just say he can smell my number one. From a ways away. Ah, he can smell Guess my we'll number one. we'll have to wait one. to see what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. So... My dog's moving around. No. Karina's moving around. So you yeah, so Come here. Hi. Come here. Hey. There she is. There we you go. For a now while. we're also on the new set. However, I don't have blinds yet. We were having a huge glare problem. Yes, so excuse okay. the Get cardboard in. that I put in the windows. I know it's low rent. Yeah. But you didn't want to see the glare. And we had the to beard. control the glare. So yeah. now you you kicked off. Last round, do you want me to kick off? Um, or do you let's say that real quick, we didn't cover. These are scotches that we had last year. Right, in 2015. So this, this isn't an all-encompassing. Yes, it's not an exhaustive Every scotch available list. to yes. the world. God knows they don't send us, nor do we even get close to Trump. And about the world whiskeys and when we branched out to the, the Indian whiskeys. And actually, well, the Yamazaki started because in 20... 13, it won Jim Murray's World Whiskey of the Year, the Yamazaki Sherry Cask. Right. It was never sold in the States, however. Right. That is true. So, um, the first bottle that I found, and, and I hadn't seen any Yamazaki locally ever. And then all of a sudden, I was in the liquor store one day, and right there on the shelf was the Yamazaki 12. So right. So I picked it up. Because we'd had it a, a Hakushu, but we've never uh -huh. had the blended Hibiki. Have we? We have not had Hibiki. Right. I almost grabbed and, it and then the price jumped and we yes. were just doing other things. Yeah. Now there's the Hibiki 12, but it's been replaced by the NAS um, one. And I can't remember what it's called. And I've seen both hmm. actually locally. Hmm. But so, uh, it's good. And but, if, if you see either one, give them a shot. The, yeah. The Japanese whiskeys. Um, and, and we've even had some comments or I've seen comments about people that think scotch. I mean, people that don't even drink Irish whiskeys, and they're not branching out to Japanese whiskeys or Indian whiskeys. They think really? Scotch is it. Huh. And I'm I mean, there's other great whiskeys out there to try. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, we're all about that. Yeah. That's the journey we're on. We're on a journey. We're on a quest. We're on a quest to try all these different whiskeys, and it's a beautiful and awesome quest. Mm. It is. We're on a quest. Speaking of that, um, number three, boy, Hardy, uh, boy, Hardy, this could be higher. The Port Charlotte Scottish barley. I like it a little bit more than the uh, Isla barley. Isla barley is a little bit more expensive. It's in the white can, whereas the the Port Charlotte Scottish barley is in more of the gray can. Um, they're very close, uh, but I did have them head to head. And the uh, it's going to be heavily smoky. It's heavily peated, delicious. And to me, the Scottish barley is a little bit more runny. I'm not sure. If I'm not if sure it wasn't, it was we close. Done. And we, we got made... a lot of comments about way to branch out, way to try different things. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I spent what seventy, eighty dollars on it. You commented like, "Wow!" A year ago, before we started this show, did you think? Without ever tasting it, you would drop eighty bucks on an on Indian an whiskey. Indian whiskey. Nothing against India, but they just weren't known for their and we, and, single yeah. malt. And we hadn't had it before, so we didn't know yeah. what to expect. It's not like I had it at a tasting. I hadn't seen anybody review it. I thought, you know what? I want to try it. We need to try something. Well, in fact, is yeah, I was with you when you bought it. We went to my house. Yes. And we cracked it open, and even I was surprised by it. Extremely pleasantly surprised. Amrut Fusion. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Broaden your horizons. Now that it did not make my list, I did consider it. Gotcha. Um, it's my very good. Five. I only need to look. I remember my number five, Amrut Fusion. Mm. My number five, Tomatin 18 year. Mm -hmm. 
uh, value wise and taste wise. Mm. And I was just looking and talking to, I was in the liquor store the other day and the guy was looking for a scotch and we were talking and, and I'd point, pointed out the Tomatin 18 to him and a few other 18 years and the Tomatin at our liquor store in our area is 69.99. Yeah, great. I need five of them. And these other 18 year scotches were coming in 119, 129, dollars yeah. Right. And it's been in sherry casks. It is full of flavor. It's delicious. It's phenomenal. Uh, very surprising. You won't find a better 18 year scotch for the money. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just period, just an 18 year scotch. It's delicious. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this year though, we also, we take, we tested several from the Tomatin range with 18, probably my favorite. Yeah. I mean, in uh, 2016, right over our shoulder here, you got the, I always say it wrong, the uh, Kubokan? 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 Uh -huh. And I don't think you could. Some but, people could. I don't think we could. Uh, so these are our individual bar scot for his top five scotches that he's picked from the ones we've reviewed this year, and Bingo. I've got my top five. Are they the same? I guarantee they're not the I same. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Because uh, I am a huge fan of the Smokies, mm. and you, not that you don't like them, but you're not a huge fan. Mm. All right. Do you want to kick off the list, or do you want me to oh, start? You just said you was going to, since I went uh, first I was. with the last one. You went first with the last one. Mine cycled off. Number five to me, for me on this list, was a surprise, a complete and utter surprise. I was in our friendly neighborhood liquor store, and I saw an Indian whiskey, Amrut. Mm. To be specific, Amrut Fusion. Fusion, which means nectar. It means nectar. Yeah, it no. doesn't mean... Uh... <laughs> no, it does mean nectar. You said it means passion, and then we were, you were corrected. You just, made yes, some, Herman... you just made some stuff up when we were filming, which you No, do Herman often. had mentioned it, and I'd read it, and then like a week or two went by, and we're on camera, and I just kind of vapor locked, and... Herman had said that that uh, en route means nectar, nectar, which is like the nectar of the gods or uh, kind of like the whole idea of water of the gods. And for some reason, I said en route means passion. passion. <laughs> and he came on in like loud yelling, typing. No, I did not say All passion. Caps. Yeah. yeah. Yelling. It's nectar. Typing. Nectar. Yeah, nectar. So, and Herman also com commented on our dress, which is why I'm wearing a sport coat today. Uh, he's Canadian. So, there you go. But, en route fusion. You, there's a couple things that happened with en route. First, I think it was one of the first, if not the first, whiskeys we did for our Saturday show that wasn't pure scotch. That wasn't from Scotland, was it? Kubicon? <laughs> yeah, Could I, be. I made it sound um, like it's from Marco Polo. Kubicon! That's like chupacabra. Yeah, chupacabra. Go suck. We got the chupacabra scotch. Bing. I'm surprised you didn't say that because you just say wrong stuff all the time. We got the chupacabra from the pommel. Man. The pommel. Now, I'm not saying too much on this because my number four, Tomatin 18. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I could get the sherry on the nose as soon as we popped the cork. I was like, whoa, this is sherry. You know, and we hadn't read anything on it. Uh, everything you said, I agree with 100%. The flavor is phenomenal. The value is unbelievable. I mean, I'm like, wow. So you talk about a fair deal. If you guys haven't tried to matten, I mean, you can start with the 12 and you're going to get a real nice malted flavor. You can go up to the 14, which I love that almost made this list, which is mm -hmm. port wine cast. Mm -hmm. Then, but jump on up. If you like sherry, get the 18. You will not be upset you will be pleasantly surprised enough said that's my number four surprising it's good yeah close yep my number four is back behind us and i i hate to differentiate but yamazaki you took the amru from india i take the yamazaki from japan the and really well i'm really i'm referring to the 12 it's mm. one i've got and i've had several times the 18 was delicious mm. now the thing is with the 18 it's it's fairly rare and expensive i've never seen it on the shelf, that one was you got from Texas. Yeah. Your mom found it in a liquor store down mm -hmm. there. Thank you, mom. Um, and it has some definite sherry notes to it. Huge. Side by side, I'm, the, it was better. 
but availability wise and what you can go to the store and find just the Yamazaki 12 hmm. but I mean either one 18 <laughs> yeah yeah uh, side by side if, if you offered me either one I'd take the 18 definitely yeah, so definitely. just well and, sharing and that's one of those uh, talking